Now from Marco Simone on the outskirts of Rome, this is EA Sports continuing coverage of the world of golf. With Frank Navolo by my side, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question, what are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green, Rich. I, I know people always say putting's important. I'm not going to say it's overrated, but tee to green. If you want to play good golf day in, day out, fairways greens, that's the secret. That head cover on the driver might just be an ornament today. I think we're going to see a lot of free hits. 93 yards is the number as he sets for his second. Good strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. That's a stressful birdie as you're going to get on this course. That is well done. Now to the second, another par four. This is a bear, though, at 506 yards. Tee shots need to avoid a large central bunker, as well as two more further up the left side. What a display of power and precision off the tee. On the green here on the par four, in one. good one to convert on. Instead, that'll be left for birdie. Okay, so that's why you take out the big stick and try to drive this par four after a good lag putt. It means that's no more than a tap-in birdie. Now to the third here at Marco Simone at 453 yards. It is the third of three par fours to start out. Unlike the first two holes, this one bends to the right. And those who decide to take on the dog leg can often be rewarded with a short iron for the approach. Yeah, all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. The big drive got him here. Now a short one for his second. Here we go, seven footer for birdie. Yeah, that's as easy as one, two, three, count them. Three birdies in a row to start this round. Our first par three of the round avails itself here at the 188 yard fourth. Two bunkers right of the green should be avoided at all costs. This one looks right on point. Tell you what, I've enjoyed watching this display all day long. We hear the phrase in football, ball control. It applies to what we've seen here from this player. That is an outstanding display of ball control. Yeah, good job there to cash that in. A brilliant tee shot to this par three. And it winds up a no stress two. Onwards to the fifth here at Marco Simone. It is the first of two shortish par fours. This one at 376 yards. It's the first hole where water really comes into play. Those going with driver off the tee will need to keep their drives right, leaving a short approach to a somewhat tilted green. Two 
So an ideal spot right here, just off the green, a makeable chance at Eagle. Well, golf is truly an international game, and today we join you from picturesque Marco Simone, just outside Rome, here on EA Sports. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner, and partner, you and I have called a lot of rounds of golf through the years. I know there's always something that piques your interest. How about today? Rich, every day brings you a chance, a chance to do something special. And when we get to sit in this perch, that's what I look for. And I don't want to see the, the head going down. I want to see that every single shot is a chance to do something special. That could be a chip. Maybe the chip goes in. Maybe it's a 30-footer that goes in. Maybe a drive gets rifled down the fairway. Do something special. Uh, could have just done with a little bit more for breakfast. Just a little short. Maybe I'm going to It's a good shot. Yes, nicely done. It's in for birdie. And it's into red figures now at one under par. Now to the second, another par four. This is a bear, though, at 506 yards. Tee shots need to avoid a large central bunker, as well as two more further up the left side. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. to the round, a birdie at one. Now an eagle here at the second. How about three under through two holes and just getting started. Now to the third here at Marco Simone at 453 yards. It is the third of three par fours to start out. Unlike the first two holes, this one bends to the right. And those who decide to take on the dog leg can often be rewarded with a short iron for the approach. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. Coming off the eagle, this for birdie. Three-hole stretch, birdie, eagle, birdie, four under before he even gets to the fourth tee. Our first par three of the round avails itself here at the 188-yard fourth. Two bunkers right of the green should be avoided at all costs. Billy took that one way upstairs, got a lot of air under it, and that allowed it to land softly. That's a nice shot. Oh, man, does he get it working today, Frank? A birdie at the fourth. That pushes him to five under through his first four holes. Onwards to the fifth here at Marco Simone. It is the first of two shortish par fours. This one at 376 yards. It's the first hole where water really comes into play. Those going with driver off the tee will need to keep their drives right, leaving a short approach to a somewhat tilted green. chance for a big swing in momentum with an eagle coming up. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, what a cut there. A second eagle of the round, no less. He has been on his game so far. The sixth, as mentioned, is another short par for this one at 381 yards. It plays uphill with a deep fairway bunker right and two more problematic bunkers up near the green. Oh boy, that has started way left. So it's official. Will not hit every fairway today. First fairway missed in the rough. Let's see what they can do from here. Now this for another birdie. Good putt, and it's in for a birdie. The seventh is the longest of the par threes here at Marco Simone at 222 yards. This hole features two bunkers short, protecting a long kidney-shaped green. Players who do not dial in the yardage just right can be left with an extremely difficult two putt. Tell you what, I've enjoyed watching this display all day long. We hear the phrase in football, ball control. It applies to what we've seen here from this player. That is an outstanding display of ball control. Yes, very methodically done in that one. In for a birdie. The eighth hole is the longest of the par fours here at Marco Simone, measuring out at a full 525 yards. Because of its length, this is a par five for the members as water is in play up the entire left side of the hole and leads to a green that extends right around the hazard. I talk about a friendly kick. I never got those. It could have stayed in the rough for the same price. So after the fortunate kick is second to the par four. This is an electric start. Already we're seeing birdies galore. And another great iron shot setting up another. Okay, that nothing more than attacking. And that's how this round has gone. Just a sensational display so far. The ninth hole is where we find the first of three par fives here at Marco Simone. This one at 587 yards. Similar to the eighth, water is an issue up the entire left side of the hole. The green is well protected, too. The two bunkers left, one to the right, and that aforementioned water coming into play, and shots long or left. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. Eagles, this is an incredible performance. Well, well, I'm used to birdie feasts, but eagle feasts? I didn't think you could do that. You bet. Nothing more than a tapping. It's an eagle three, all set up by the incredible second shot into this par five. The backside begins here with a par four tenth at 453 yards. This is a nice hole. It's almost hard to believe you can be so close to the bustle of Rome and yet find the lush green fairway here with a burbling creek meandering its way along the right side of the hole. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, 
Yes, well done to get it in close. And then that finished off for a birdie here at the par five. Now to a risk-reward hole, the 329-yard par 411. It's a dogleg left, slightly uphill, with water coming into play on the left-hand side. Bombers will have a chance at going for glory, but the green is protected by two bunkers short and left, and some serious humps and hollows to the right. Really well done, just inside of five feet there. Now this, for an eagle. Oh, yeah. I mean, some days you just can't miss. And this is one of those days. What a putt there as he'll walk away with an eagle. The grandeur of this place really hits you when you stand on the tee here at the par 512. Tee shots will need to navigate three left side bunkers and another larger bunker to the right. From there, three more bunkers are very much in play around the green for those trying to get home in two. And this ball absolutely tight. It is right down the middle. Definitely within range of getting home in two. This is second. This one has a chance to be close. Oh, yeah, home and two on this par five. Okay, coming back to back par, gonna get it. Back to back birdies, nice going. Back to back eagles, come on. It's just like slamming the car into drive and just say, go. Oh, man, the cutter is working now. That is back to back eagles a rarity in the world of golf. Now to the 13th, a beguiling little par three at 150 yards. At first blush, this would seem to be a fairly easy hole. And indeed, it is the number 18 handicap for the members. But take note that this green can get hard and fast, meaning tee shots sometimes need a little bit of finessing. Just hit the shot sometimes. You maneuver it, and that's a really good example right there. Beautifully executed. Okay, a little two footer for Birdie, not a problem, and that was well played. Many of the par fours here at Marco Simone seem to fall into one of two categories short or long. And this 14th hole falls into the latter category at 509 yards. This hole forces you to make a decision off the tee. You can try to take on the dog leg and shorten the hole significantly, or play it safe out to the right and give yourself a long iron into this green. That's a big lash. He might be able to cover this. Well, that drive was enormous. I know it's in the rough, but that is long. Not a big issue, though it is in the rough. Should have a go at this one. Second shot now, 14th hole. This is why so many players today favor distance. Good tee shot down there, nice and close to the green. Even though it's coming out of the rough, excellent chance for a birdie. Very smooth there, half in for a birdie. The 15th hole is a tough one at this point in the round. A long uphill par four at 479 yards. The best play is to stay left off the tee and avoid those two fairway bunkers. The second shot is a challenge as well with three deep bunkers protecting the right front portion of the green. Ah, solid, a good drive in the fairway. From an ideal location, middle of the fairway, this is second.
absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. Imagine trying to tackle this hole when your match is tied on a Sunday. This is pressure. The par 4 16. It is drivable at 303 yards, but the obstacles are plentiful, including water right and three front bunkers. Plus, sometimes getting it to the green is not the problem. Getting it to stop is. Here we go, following an unbelievable tee shot. This is for Eagle. Oh man, the putter is working. Now that is back-to-back -back Eagles, a rarity in the world of golf. Two holes remain here at Marco Simone, and this par 317th is no pushover at 206 yards. Players will likely favor the right side of the green to stay away from the water left, but given the fact that this is a long, thin green, this hole has the potential to swing a match one way or the other. This is looking really good. This is all over. Ah, uh, dude, that! He just made an ace! One more picturesque hole to get through to finish our day at Marco Simone. It's this one, the par 5 18th. Nothing like a chance at an eagle to put the capper on your day. This hole affords just that. Although, sixes and sevens can come into play as well thanks to that deep blue pond to the left. Eagle on the previous hole, just swing easy and just stripes another one. You playing with house money? Now from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. Back-to-back -back pars, I get it. Back-to-back -back birdies, nice going. Back-to-back -back eagles, come on. It's just like slamming the car into drive and just say, go! Come on, another eagle on the round. And that will write an end to the round here today. So, partner, as always, I enjoyed it. Watching golf, calling golf. Let's do it again soon. We got the best seat in the house, Rich. Till next time.